All right, back to uh, back to Planet Slime Ball. Let's see what's going on there today. And oh yeah, the sun is setting behind the uh, the giant tree. There's the well. Oh yeah, now I remember. I got 31 wheat seeds planted. So what we'll do here, what I'm gonna do here is first I'm just gonna put up where's the gate there's the fence gate All right, let's put up the gate because I'm gonna put this back into uh, back into easy mode for the time being put on my armor here which is which is quickly wearing down so uh, put it back into easy mode which isn't easy at all, and see where the day leads us through the night. But hold on, I'm still still getting into gear here. What am I doing? Getting into gear. Oh yeah, there we go. Options, easy. All right, back to game. Let's get to sleep here. I should wake up on the inside this time, which will be nice. Let's see. Yes, yeah, inside. It put me off to this side of the bed. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure what happened. As time goes on, if I ever get to that again, we'll see what's going on. Alright, now put my helmet on. And look, I'm wearing down with my helmet. And I, I found the pencil. I didn't craft any of that stuff. I found everything. chests around around the world so I found my pants last my iron leggings okay now look here's the tree and I, again I don't want to die if I go out there and start running around watch with the creeper see if I can even get closer now I can't before in old Minecraft you could just charge at the creeper and hit him let's see what happens see look I'm doing it but nothing's happening I ran at him and I was and I was left clicking got right up in front of him and was left clicking and, I, and my sword wouldn't activate. My sword wouldn't do anything. So you can't do anything with the creepers. Or the shield. Where's my, where's my, where's my shield here? That's exactly right. So, like before, that's right, you run up to a creeper, you run up to him, you walk up to him, and you do this, and you, you, know, you can't see it, but I'm left clicking. And you knock him back, and then you try to hit him again, and sometimes you just pop him twice. Let's see, same thing with the skeleton here. Well, you gotta stop by the sun, obviously. But that's right, you can't even you can't even deal with the creepers anymore. You can't deal with them because again I was I was I was left you couldn't see it, but I was left clicking as I was coming up to him, and then nothing happens. And so he just pops. So now you have the shield and you can do this, and that'll protect you. But again, it's a matter of well why can't I uh, why can't I protect myself from the creeper? Or go after. I mean, again, it's preemptive. It's a preemptive type strike. Because, well, if I just want to sit here, I don't really want to watch my wheat grow right now. But if I have something else to do, that creeper is going to creep up behind me. And in this game, I think they actually weaken the armor formula so that the armor doesn't protect you as much as it used to. Thing, it's a creeper. He doesn't make any noise at all like these horrible slimes. He walk up right behind you and blow you up. And you won't even... It's like a sniper's bullet from, you know, from from half a mile away. Before you even know the bullet hits you, you're dead. Because you didn't hear this... Before the sound even gets to you, you're dead. And that's the same thing, especially with the iron armor. Look at this guy. Especially with the iron armor, which doesn't really protect you that much anyway. It does protect you. It's much better than just walking around, running around naked. But, or in your day clothes... But as far as, <laughs> as far as, again, the creepers, they creep up behind you. You can't hear, they don't make any noise. And one blast will do it. So now I've got, what in easy mode, I should mention, in easy mode here, I've got this hole I've got to fill. I've got this hole that I have to fill in. Okay? Now that you, normally, it's it can sometimes be a little bit risky to... to go down in into a hole to do this because you never know what's going to jump down there with you. Another creeper could come down and wants to blast you again. But now with these slimes and 
since it's hard to navigate, although they seem to be leaving me alone right now. Let's just fill this thing in. But even the simplest little operation becomes a challenge. And they're all leaving me alone right now. All right. And the tree is basically basically grown in. We've got one, two, three, four out of 40. I think, I don't know if it was 41 or 43. If I, if I watch the recording again and try to catch it real quick, I'll see exactly how many there were. But, so, this is almost completely grown in. And what I've, again, having done this a number of times, what, what I like to do sometimes is I use the hoe and take off all the leaves and make it into something nice and neat. And then, again, if I have the luxury of no of no monsters coming after me, and in the middle of the day, by the way, in the middle of the day in normal mode, in in, you know, in not super flat, you you don't really have to worry about the monsters. Every now and then, some, that's right, every now and then in normal, something shows up. But for the most part, during the day, you can go outside without your helmet and not have to really worry about, about anything coming after you. Obviously, in the super flat, yeah, you do have to worry because how am I going to chop down a tree? How am I going to take out all of the leaves? It takes a long time to do that. I like to do things in a straight line. I like to again, that's like again, like a sculpture. Start out here, start out on the right, and go all the way down and take out all the leaves. And this is basically a typical tree formation. This is, this is basically what happens. This is actually, that's right, this is pretty uh, par for the course, if you will. What happens when you put 40, when you put a bunch of saplings together? And you'd think this is what everybody does. When you've got to grow, now I try to separate, when, I, when you put down acacias, when you put down different types of trees, the birches, I like to keep separate it also. But the oak trees lend well, the way the oak trees grow lend well to, to this type of formation. And this is basically what you get. And now there's only, looks like one left. I can't see. That's right. There's just one left. And this is a pretty typical type formation. And it, it's, a, it's a lot of work to get it down, but it'll give me a lot of wood. And again, as you since I've never played in super flat before, it, it's a it's, this is a learning process for me. Like, how do you handle? How do you deal with this situation? And fences are one way. Of course, I can build a million fences, and they're still going to congregate as soon as where I want to walk out. Start thinking about digging down. You can you can build yourself a little tunnel too. That's that'll have one layer of ground above you. But you can use trees as natural barriers. You can use trees as a natural barrier. And but again, if I want to go over here. I like to wait until they're all done, but sometimes this this one could be a straggler, so it might it might not grow for quite some time. But usually the, the oak trees do ultimately grow. But here I go, and again they're giving me a little bit of peace, and I'm sitting here, oh boy, you hear what I'm saying? I'm gonna prove me wrong again. They're gonna leave me alone now, but they're not. And so we've got this one coming after me. But again, you saw what happened with the creeper. You couldn't see that I was that I was left clicking. But I can't just. You got to let them blow up. There's no way to deal with them. That's right. That's the way to deal with them now. Apparently, is you let them explode and you hold up your shield and use your shield to protect yourself because the shield actually does protect you. Let's see here. Also, it also protects me from this guy. But he'll just keep coming. What am I going to do? Stand here like this? Actually, the shield does do a good job. But I gotta be able to kill him. Otherwise, he'll kill me. And again, how am I gonna get this tree down having to deal with these slimes? I suppose what I could do. Man, my sword's gone now. And again, I don't think I crafted that sword. I probably found the sword. 
because I'm using because I'm using my iron sparingly. I guess I and even a stone sword. Anyway, let's go back inside here. Get another sword or craft a sword for myself. Although the axe in this in this game apparently is uh, the the tool of choice the, because it's got more attack damage. A wooden axe has more attack damage than a uh, than a stone than an iron sword. A wooden axe has more. A wooden axe. My, I, I, I tooted Minecraft's horn for being pretty kind of realistic in a way, but a wooden axe has more attack damage than an iron sword now. All right, we're at almost 11 minutes. Let me pause the recording. All right, or stop the recording.